choke's kind of strong. I think it's bright up in here compared to being in that dark gym. What's it been like at SMU so far for you? It's actually been really great. Uh, coming from a mid-major uh, team, uh, it's pretty good. It's an uplift from everything. Uh, the people here are very nice. Facilities are nice. Our trainers, coaches, academic advisors, every, everybody are on hands here. So hands on, my bad. But uh, yeah, I feel like it's pretty good here so far. I'm adjusting every day trying to get better. So it's good for me. What was it about this program, this coaching staff that made you want to come here? I would say, I would say the coaches for sure. Knowing that they had a lot of pros, you know, for the past year, Coach Andy at USC had a lot of pros and stuff. So I feel like he can make me better as a player in person, like on and off the court. And plus, you know, just us moving to the ACC, playing against bigger and better teams. And for me coming from a mid-major, that's a big jump. But I wanted to be able to accept that challenge. So, yeah. What does it mean when you see that schedule come out? You see you know, Duke's coming here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for sure. Uh, you know, me being at a mid-major before this, we played some big teams like you know, like Arizona in the tournament, and you know things like that, Michigan and stuff. So I've, I've been on them stages before, but uh, you know, just being able to compete with them in a conference and you know, competing against a team like Duke is that's something big. So it, it excites me for sure. I feel like we meshing pretty well as a team, especially on and off the court. Uh, we got a lot of guys from everywhere, high majors, mid majors, you know, everyone's come from everywhere, but everyone learned something from their old school. So everyone bringing that together as a whole will make everything better as a team. And, you know, on a, off the court, we try to go to the football games, you know, do things off the court as a team just to make everybody stay intact. So, yeah. Uh, I was kind of familiar with him. I played against USC my sophomore year, sophomore year and my freshman year. My first year we lost, and then uh, this previous year we uh, beat them in overtime, actually. So, you know, I was pretty familiar with, you know, USC being the school that it is, being legendary and being ahead of California with UCLA. So I was pretty familiar for sure. I feel I bring a lot to the table. You know, uh, I can do a lot of things. I can rebound for my size. I can defend pretty well. I can score if you need me to. I can post up if you need me to. All the guys is way bigger at this, you know, this level or whatever. I can try to guard some fours here and there. Five, maybe not so much because they're bigger. But, you know, I feel like I just bring like a lot to the table. I'm very coachable. I encourage my teammates, missing shots. Yeah, you got the next one. So just a little pretty all around, really, I can ask for uh, Contribute to the team for sure. You kind of mentioned that everyone kind of brings a little bit of something, but but how are you noticing people standing up, uh, standing up leaders? You know, a lot of veteran uh, presence on this team who's kind of been standing out so far here. Uh, it's kind of a mixture of everybody for sure, like because you know everybody from different places and everybody trying to make their face familiar, but. Uh, off the top of my head, for, for sure, Chuck Chuck Harris has been been leading us pretty well. Uh, Boopy Boopy Miller has been leading us pretty well too. Those have been the most guys that's been the most what's called freaking my bad, excuse me. <laughs> what's called vocal as a team. So but it's a lot of other guys too, but those two guys are the main ones for sure. That's been uh, pushing us as a team to get better as leaders. What do personal goals look like for the, uh, look like for you this year? I just want to get better. I don't really have any set goals. Like, I don't know, I just want to get better. That's that's the main motto. That's another reason why I came here, you know, uh, seeing the players that Coach Enfield had in the past, you know, getting players better and things like that. And as a team goal, I want to make the NCAA tournament. My last goal in the mid-major, we made it to the NCAA tournament. We got knocked out the first round, but that feeling is unbelievable. It's a great feeling. So being at the ACC, I know it's tough, but I'm pretty sure we can do it. To get better, is there anything particular you've been working on the first couple weeks? Mm -hmm. I've been working on my three-point shot a lot. That's something that I want to improve for sure because I can score inside and things like that. So three-point shot off the court, but kind of in a way room like my body. I want to get my body a little bit more lean and things like that, being able to move a little bit faster, quicker, 
another big thing I've been working on is coming off of screens and stuff. My last school, I didn't really come off screens, use, used to uh, pick and roll a lot, but I feel like I'm getting better. Coaches and managers are here helping me get better with that. So that's some like three things I've been working on for sure since I've been here. What's Coach Enfield like in practice? <laughs> Coach Enfield, very chill. He's chill. He's got a laid back <laughs> demeanor. He's very chill, but I mean, he hasn't yelled as much since I've been here, but you know, he'll yell once or twice. But for the most part, he's chill. Very laid back coach for sure. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good day.